Hello Leo, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead whenever you clicked on the title at the time it intrigued you. We're going to start with a message from your angels, guides, guardians and ancestors. As I perceive it, the most important message in the whole tarot reading and I do it at the beginning to help clarify why these energies are coming in on the spreads. Before that, though, I just want to let you know that I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to join the party and interact, I would be happy to pull some free personal cards for you. Check everything in the description below. You can find out all you need to know about the website and the channel. There is also free tarot card readings over as a member of the website lots of perks and fun times over there too so do check it out let's start with your angelic message first of all leo this is truly this reminds me of leo energy male or female it doesn't matter this is about being your authentic self being able to detach from the world and just be who you are and enjoy it following that we have the ghost dance no, this is not that you're being ghosted or someone's ghosting you, though. That I mean, that could be the case, but this is the spiritual message. This is the reminder to please honor your ancestors, those who have passed on, light a candle for them. They want to bless you. Stand still, follow the advice, honor your ancestors and watch what happens. The staff is about discipline, staying on the right road, your path, your destiny, your fate. It's also there for you to lean on when you need to. This energy is around you right now. It could be that while living your authentic self, you're being pushed back onto a certain path to complete it. This is the completion of a cycle. Once a cycle is, is completed and with the blessing of your ancestors that you honor, you can go in any direction you want. Now the spread here starts with justice. This could be a court case that some of you are facing where the scales of justice are about to balance. This could be about karmic debts that are, have been paid to balance a situation. It can also mean karmic rewards. Things may have seemed very slow. It looks like someone is slowly coming towards you here Leo uh, but they're taking the steps correctly they want to come right this could be you progressing and taking on these energies wanting to progress in a nice slow easy manner and it's going to pick up momentum this is victory conquering destiny now we've got slow to fast so you're picking up momentum here it almost it feels very much like karmic decks were paid. Now you're getting karmic rewards. Karmic debts that held you up. But by honoring your ancestors, they want to honor you. Sometimes we pay generational karmic debts in order to take that genealogy to the next level. And as the earth is changing and shifting, that is precisely what we should be doing anyway. We have Ten of Water. This is about emotional fulfillment in the home. And it could be, you know, that gathering together with loved ones that you haven't seen for a long time and reliving those old stories and memories um, with your grandparents or talking about ancestors and look where we came and look how far we came and just very nostalgic. And Queen of Earth, this is about nurturing, self-nurturing. Nurturing the family, making sure everything is organized, bills are paid, everybody is happy under the roof. 
this almost sounds like a like a to me here in Nova Scotia Nova Scotia's kitchen party. We have someone spying on you, admiring you. Or waiting for an opportunity, waiting for that opportunity to come forward, speak their truth to you, how they feel about you. Or maybe someone who's trying to come forward to confess something to you that happened that maybe you should know about. This is delays ending, the, the pain of the past, the worst being over. And then now that that's ended, look at this. Here come the blessings from your spirit guides. Bring it. This is something that just drops into your lap. Here come the blessings for all of your past work. Karmic rewards. I'm liking this reading. We have victory and success with justice. If you're going to court, you're going to win hands down. You're just going to blow it right out of the court. This is also about overcoming all those karmic debts. It's about breaking the chains that held that genealogy from moving forward. That's powerful knowledge, energy. Two of Earth, oh yeah. You may think, think things uh, have been moving slowly, maybe in a relationship. You may think that someone has just taken their bloody time coming towards you. Or this could be you. Just, you've got a lot on your plate. You've got, this is multitasking successfully, doing it right. I mean, alone, alone, this card means you're multitasking successfully to bring balance, you know, delegating. There's no question here. This is solid. Every step you take being the correct one. I don't think you're needing to lean on that staff whatsoever, uh, Leo. I think what's happening here is you're joyfully following the lead, the lead of that staff. Oh, wrong flipping cards. Fertility. Birthing something new. And you're making positive movement forward very in quick time this build up of this momentum of where you're going is um yeah you're flying forward you got three cards here because i pulled from the wrong deck and once a card is played or laid it's played so we have some really strong energy birthing something new taking care of business multitasking accomplishing opening up that birth canal let's crack these cards oh look at the bottom of that the chariot again the triumph we're seeing cancer energy libra energy virgo energy capricorn sacrifice this is about looking at things from a different perspective the greatest sacrifice that you can give, Leo, is prayer. And in some cases, that prayer means talking with your ancestors, acknowledging them, honoring them. This is you looking at things from different perspectives that they want to give to you. By honoring your ancestors, um, opens the door to... Um, it opens the door to blessings. Ten of water. You have a message coming. This looks like a family reunion in Nova Scotia kitchen party. Rejoice in celebration. A message coming in that's worthy of celebration. And it looks like a kitchen party. Because this is emotional fulfillment in the home. Six of water. Emotional fulfillment. Oh, strong. Strong energy. This is, to me, this feels like, with this nostalgia, the power of the family surrounding you that's also leo energy standing in your power heart chakra is opening to give and receive the highest energy of all it is nurturing nurturing self as well as others around you 
I think you're standing as a beacon of light for many here, Leo. Accelerated motion. Yeah, this person's going to rush in. They may be spying on you now, but when they come in, they're going to come in really fast. They're not going to pull any punches as far as speaking their mind. The end of delays here. Prosperity begins. And you're prospering not alone. This is you as a sapling being nurtured or nurturing a partnership. Could be a career opportunity or a passionate new beginning in love. Financial and material changes are taking place here. These blessings that want to come in, Leo, change your financial situation completely and for the better, not the worse. As I say to everyone, stay in your integrity, honesty, truth, and all things will unfold. Now, let's finish this reading with a message about love. Advice for Leo. Advice for Leo in love. Oh my goodness. That, that's a hot mess. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I'm telling you. It's a kitchen party. Invite that person that you really like. Not sure I'll take those, but let's have a look. Release your ex. This is about clearing your energies. Not necessarily about releasing somebody or breaking up with somebody, but it's definitely about clearing energies of your past. Whatever past relationships that went south need to be cleared in order to not carry them over into the current or future one. Yes, this person you're inquiring about is your soulmate. Forgiving and learning as you reveal, as you release and heal the past. And that goes back to this. Release your ex. As you release the past, you'll experience love in the present moments. You deserve this love. And boy, yeah. Talk about a hot mess. There's chemistry here. Strong magnetic attraction towards you. If that resonated for you at all, Leo, please do hit the like share subscribe check the description below this video for all of the things that are available to you and i hope to see you wednesday or sunday night 5 p.m eastern standard time to interact god bless to you god bless you and we'll hopefully talk to you soon bye bye for now